I'm going to install Windows 8 on this Windows 7 computer. Now this one's got Windows 7 Home Premium. They say that if you have Windows 7 Home versions, you can upgrade to Windows 8 and it will keep all of your programs and you won't have to reinstall programs or do anything. But if you have professional Windows 7, then you have to reinstall all your programs. Also, if you have uh, Windows Vista or Windows XP, you can install Windows 8, but you'll have to reinstall your programs. So before you go and do the upgrade, and the upgrade is $39.99, it's a good idea to run their upgrade assistant. So on the download page, there's this up great assistant you can run it now I've already run it on my computer it took maybe five or ten minutes and it'll tell you everything that you need to know about programs that you have on your computer that aren't compatible so Microsoft Security Essentials it says is not compatible they've renamed it uh, Windows Defender for Windows 8 and they suggest that you uninstall Security Essentials from your Windows 7 computer before you install Windows 8 um, you can see probably need a new version of Hulu, that one we don't really use. iTunes, I've heard some reports that that some devices made by Apple don't work with iTunes. Um, somebody said that the iPads work, but some of the iPhones don't work. I don't know if that's true or not, so you want to research that before you go upgrade to Windows 8 if you're a big Apple device using person. Uh, Pinnacle Studios, those will have to reinstall it. That's all right, I don't mind reinstalling it. I don't know if it'll work though, I guess we'll see. So just make sure you go through this list and see if there's anything that you might not like that might make it so that you don't want to upgrade. So now I'm gonna upgrade it to Windows 8 and see how it installs. I'm, before I did this, I've backed up all of my important uh, data, you know, video and picture files onto a removable uh, secondary hard drive because I just want to be safe and I recommend that you do the same thing. So back up anything you don't want to lose, even though they say you're not going to lose it. Make the backup and then you won't have to worry about it. All right, after I ran the uh, compatibility checker, now it's asking me if I want to buy it. So I'm going to go ahead and click order. Two gigabytes digital download. So depending on your connection speed, that might take a little while. Check out and now we wait. So this is the part you probably don't need to see. I don't really need anybody out there stealing my credit card numbers and stuff. So I'm going to fill out all this and then get it installing and we'll see how quick it installs. All right, it, it took all my uh, information. It just wanted an address and a name and a phone number and a credit card number. So I was expecting it to require a Windows Live ID, but it didn't. It, it just give, tell, tell me who you are, give me your credit card number, and now it's downloading. So I expect this will take a while. And then we'll see what happens. It was $39.99 was the price. And I believe that's good until the end of 2012. All right, that's 100% complete. Now it's checking the download. All right, now it's getting files ready. Whatever that means, giving me another countdown. All right, and finally, this maybe half an hour later, in install now install by creating media or install later from your desktop I'm gonna try install by creating media maybe this way I'll have a backup disk let's see to switch media needs if you wish to install on another partition you need to create and then run the media to install it um, actually you know what I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go install now see so as long as I I could create media here to have some backup media, but I'm just going to install it now. And if I, as long as I keep my serial number, then I'll be able to install it later if there's ever a problem, just by downloading it again. So here we go. Getting updates. Just said restarting Windows 8 setup. We're getting a few things ready. There's the... Ubiquitous EULA, the thing nobody reads, and user license agreement, agree, accept. Making sure you're ready to install. What needs my attention? Uninstall Microsoft Security Essentials, which I already did, so I don't know why it's asking me to do that. And then, you've already taken care of this, okay? Click refresh to remove it from the list here. And restart my PC to continue the installation. So if you had Security Essentials, that would have taken care of it. I uninstalled it before. So we restart it. And it's going to keep rolling.
All right, computer restarted. Asked me to continue where it left off. Uh, sure. Now the magic happens. Do I want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer? Sure. Finally, we get to this page. Ready to install. It's going to install Windows 8 Pro and keep Windows settings, personal files, and apps. Kaboom. Whoa. That's installing Windows 8. PC will restart several times. Oh, this might take a while. So, let's see how it goes. We're finally done, and it's asking us to pick a color. So we'll go with, that's too bright. I'll go with green. Click next. Express settings. Automatically install updates, help protect us from unsafe files, turn on do not track, help improve software, check for problems. All right, so we're gonna use the express settings and just fire it up. Password. We need to confirm my password. So this should be the same secret password as I had before. Congratulations. You and your things made it through the move. And by the way, it took a, a long time. I, we actually went to a soccer game and came back while it was updating itself. But it took a long time to update. You can set up your email address to sign into my user account and connect to the things I care about. When you sign into Windows with a Microsoft account, you can do all this cool stuff. Skip this step. I'm going to skip this step. Finalizing my settings. And hi, it says. Well, we're getting things ready. Check out the new way to use Windows. After your PC is ready, move your mouse into any corner. Alright, after a while, now we have our new screen. It looks like it turned my computer into a cell phone or a tablet. So that's the install process. Pretty simple. Just had to answer a few questions. It took forever. Well, not forever, but it took quite a long time to download and to verify and to update. But uh, now that it's done, we've got, uh, got the computer doing what it's supposed to do. All right, I have to say I like Windows 8. Ignore the dogs and the sirens in the background. They're not coming to get me, I hope. Um, I've got it on a big screen TV here in the living room and uh, it's a lot lot better for browsing for web browsing on the big TV and also just for, for visibility the screen is a lot clearer than it was with Windows 7 and I've tried uh, you know going to the ESPN site and streaming football game and and uh, everything just works better on the TV and I was able to find a resolution setting that works with uh, that works with my computer and, and makes it so that I can see I can see everything on the desktop and everything is really clear so it's just a lot better if you're going to use a TV as a media center with a computer I gotta say Windows 8 is better than Windows 7 it's worth the 40 bucks for the upgrade and as far as I can tell everything works okay I even tried out iTunes and it works fine uh, at least to play music. I haven't tried to sync an Apple device with it yet. You should do some research if you sync multiple Apple devices with your computer and see if it works or not or what people say about it. I've heard that some of the iPhones don't sync. 